So a married man, is it safe to say that he should have? Is it safe for him to have some hoes? No, no, he shouldn't have hoes. He can have a side chick, but he can't have hoes. If you have hoes, are dangerous. Yeah. Oh. You really only get fucked hoes when you're on the come up and you don't have nothing to lose yet. Yeah. Side chick is she's dependable. She's trustworthy. She knows exactly what her job is. She's not gonna fuck this shit up. Yeah, that's a good crazy. side chick. Okay. Some men try to make hoes side chicks. You can't do that. You because hoes will expose you, exploit you, tell your business. You can't do that. Shalom, shalom. In today's video, man, I'm gonna be playing some clips in here that men need to take heed to man if you are ignorant enough to fall into this trap as a man after watching this i can't help you you know you have to be able to discern these snares you know here's a video where a woman takes pleasure in being a side piece and then she switches up on the man and says hey you know what if you don't leave her so I can be your main I'm telling your wife and I want you to think man as a man if you got a state issued marriage license this is the reason why you're gonna see this guy is fearful because he knows his wife if this woman's gonna air all the details out, you know, go down there, tell your woman, your woman gonna go to the dog on family court, divorce you, and put you on child support. That's why he's doggone scared. I'm telling you, man, that little bit of booty, you think you getting pleasure in, you know, is not worth it. You are not, here's the difference, biblically, we read about concubines. The average person, 99% of the American population has no idea what a concubine is because they don't look at etymology. If you're out here trying to have these women on the side, these women are going to tell on you. A lot of men are foolish enough to do that and then pillow talk these women. And this woman is going to doggone, she gonna be like little Woody. She gonna play the victim. Oh, he sold me a dream and sold me this and told me we was gonna be together. And you gonna be sitting up there looking like a plum fool. I'm telling you, man, you better take heed. These, and, and, and if you see in this first clip that I play, there's women out there that promote being side chicks, but they are, they are indecisive. A woman will switch up her mind. She'll start off, you know, saying, oh, I just wanna be on the side and you know, one or two days a week is good. And then you see, they switch up. There ain't no loyalty in no doggone side pieces. There ain't no loyalty outside of righteousness. Get that crap out of your head. Man, it is a costly mistake to think that you're about to lay down and have some booty on the side. And this Western culture, especially if you got a state-issued marriage license, that these women ain't gonna dime you out. There is a shortage of men out here and these women will manipulate their way into an opportunity to try to be the main. I'm giving you all the tools and resources and the evidence so you can avoid these snares out here. You thinking she's not gonna tell. You gonna find out you the damn fool. You gonna find out you a fool. Cause she'll look you in your face and say, I never said that. I'm telling you, don't fall for it. Do not fall for the okie doke. This is the beginning of you get caught up in some mess like this. This woman is gonna forever have some bitterness in her heart towards you. She's gonna turn them kids against you. I'm telling you, man, a lot of young men, you think you, you think you slick, you're getting a little dopamine rush, you think you got a good little situation going on, it's all going to backfire. It's all about how you went about it. You didn't go about it righteously. You didn't pursue the life that Abraham did, the life that Moses did, the life that Solomon did. And here you are trying to sneak around and, and, and women are the dang going best investigators. You got women out here that don't even have, have uh, jobs, but they can investigate the heck out of something. First 48, roll that footage.
why would I leave my girlfriend? Like, why would I leave my wife? Does that make any sense? Are you serious? You really think I'm about to leave my wife? After all this time I've been with her seven years? But you told me that's the only reason why we're together because you said he's gonna leave No, that's the only reason we messing around. Wow, what you mean? That's, you told me, you said, baby, I'm working on trying to divorce my wife. It's been seven years. You know, that's how long we've been messing around. She probably knows about me. She knows about me, right? Damn. I'm pretty sure she do. I mean, she's she seen a few phone numbers and stuff, but she don't know you, know you like that. So she don't know you. What you tell me when, when you come to my house at 4, 3 o'clock in the morning? What do you be telling me you're going? Working out. Working out all night? Yeah, because I don't work out through the day, so yeah. So you tell me you're right, believe that you're at the gym from 4 a.m. to 6, 7 a.m.? Yeah, she thinks I'm working out for 3, 4 hours, yes. Wow, your system's set up so good. Like, it doesn't even make sense. So you tell me that you're not going to leave her? Why would I leave my wife? Like I listen, have, mm. I've never met your mom, your dad, nobody. So why would I leave my wife? Why would I do something like that? Like that doesn't make sense. I, me personally, I think everything is set up good enough. I see you for a few hours. You get what you need from me. You know what I'm saying? I get to go make some money. I help you with your bills. I take care of my bills at home. Everything is good. So why are you trying to mess up what's going well? I'll be lonely. When you're not here, I'll be lonely. Uh, so which makes me trying to entertain another dude or something. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So you need to figure. You need to figure something out. You need to figure something out. Because I'm telling you, I mm. need you. I, I respect it. I ain't about to say good. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay with that? I'm entertain nobody. I'm not gonna say that. Because it's like we're human beings and we're adults and you have your urges and I have mine. I understand that. But it's one of the things where you got to decide do you want to be taken care of or not. Now, if you got a dude out there who want to be in a relationship with you, mm. go ahead on be with him. You know, I told you I would never stop you from being in a relationship with nobody. What if I want to be in a relationship with nobody but you? I got a wife and that's not going to change. Look, you're not about to have no wife. Because I'm really about to tell her that, that we've been messing around. I'm going to show her everything. I'm going to show her why? that I pay my bills and I'm going to show all that. Why are you I'm this? telling you to do it the right way and tell her about it. Why, 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 why are you doing all this right now? You say why? I'm saying, I'm asking you, why are you doing all this right now? Because I'm not going to waste seven years of my life. When we first started talking, you was the one that told me, hey, you're not with all of that lovey dovey stuff. Like, let's keep your friends, strictly friends and benefits. That's what you told me. Now all of a sudden you catch your feelings and I hate when people do that. Don't change on me is what I'm asking you. Listen. Don't, like, don't do that. I'm don't, don't do that. Do not change on me. We first started talking, everything was good. I'm not changing on you. I'm just simply saying that, hey, I'm lonely. You spending too much time over there. You know, you know, the only time I see you is literally Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. It's like, I'm a weekend chick. Do you not understand like how that made me feel so? Well, you in love with a man that's in love with you, but I got a wife. But we know, we knew that. How you in love with me, but you won't leave her? Why I'm in love with her. I'm Come on, leave now. Your Why? are you serious? You seriously asking me to leave my family? Are you serious? I mean, the kids come over here, so leave your family. I like, listen, I like you. I like what we do. Everything is fun. I, honestly, like, I like taking care of you. I like all of that. Never, ever, ever gonna leave my wife. You gotta understand, I'm not leaving my wife for you. And leave, he ain't no front about it. My, not my, my kids. Like, come on now. Why would I do that? Yeah, I respect that. I mean, you. you Why would I do that? Like, just, just be honest. I like, I, I love she my respect kids. that now. Not I for kids come over here. I like my family dynamic. The I like bite. the fact that they have me and their mom, so I'm not I'm not about to do nothing like that. I'm not okay, about so to. Like, I'm just trying to have this conversation with you since you know you want to do all this extra stuff. But why are you going to try to call my wife? Like, I, 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 I have her. I'm just letting you know that so, during the week when you're not here, I might just be having another man here. Don't be popping up at my house. Don't pop them in my house. So you said me, I pay the bills at your house, and you don't have another man come up here for free? No, no, I'm not paying for free, because he's going to be paying some bills too. But if wait, you say wait, you wait, me, well, you must be reimbursing me some of my money, huh? No, leave your wife. That's oh, what I'm damn. saying. Leave your wife. They're in a transactional relationship. I'm not leaving my wife. You're not leaving her? I'm not. Okay, well, you might not have no choice. She might get the person you anyway. So. Why are you just saying that? Like, why? I, I, I need you and I want you more than her. She's a big-time lawyer. She can pay for her own bills. She can take care of herself. Like, what you, like, she's something like, I, I don't know what is she. I, I don't know if she's a lawyer, doctor, something, but she, hey, I, I see her Instagram. I see all that. Okay. So, she okay. can take care of herself. I need you okay. more than she do. Okay. And I know you know that. Okay, I understand. So, right. this is what I do. I'm going to just fall back from you. You say what? I'll just fall back from you uh -huh. because... If you're going to do this, if you're going to try to call my wife or try to contact her or try to ruin my relationship with her, whatever the case may be, listen, I'm going to just tell you, that's not going to work out well. So, 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 I want to tell you this too. I love you. And, you know, I'm, I'm your friend to the end. But if you're going to snitch on me to my wife, like, that's not going to be good. Yeah, okay. All right. That's not going to be good. Just leaving me, I'm telling you. the situation, and I'm here alone, by myself, heartbroken, we're going to see two different things again. Okay. I'm not mm -hmm. trying to leave. I'm here every weekend. I pay your bills. Just like, we talk every day on the phone. So, why are you doing all this? What am I supposed to do? Monday through Thursday. I'm, then I'll be calling you. I'm calling you. You'll be like, all right, baby. We talk for like two to three minutes. And then it's, I don't, I don't come back. Don't call me. Don't hear from you. Like, okay, because I'm around my wife and she don't know about you. Yes, I'm around my wife and she don't know about you. So I can't be doing all that. Okay, so what do you want me to do